Hello, I'm Johnny Rowland, your host of The Shooting Show, and welcome to today's program, friends. We're so pleased and happy to be here. I tell you, it is a beautiful day. That's one thing about Louisiana. Last week, at this time, as we're taping this today, a week ago today, we had ice everywhere. <laughs> and about Louisiana, if you don't like the weather, we'll just, <clears throat> we'll just wait a few minutes or wait a while and you'll get something else. And we're so thankful to be thawed, or thawed out, thawed out, I suppose. Uh, from our ice and snow and I know that a lot of areas around the country are still dealing with ice. Hey, it's January, now it's February. So, you know, it is winter and we shouldn't be terribly surprised. Anyway, hope you're having a good week. It is a fabulous day to be out shooting. I was talking to Dennis Crocker the other day, our good friend in South Carolina that has our uh, Kramer holsters for our 460 rolling guns. And Dennis says, yeah, they were out shooting and it was sleeting. <laughs> it was sleeting and snowing, he says, uh, I think that probably marks the difference in the enthusiast and the casual shooter. But uh, certainly we want to encourage you to enjoy your firearms. I'll tell you what, it's a good idea to get out in bad weather sometimes to see how they work. If you have too much lubrication on a gun, something like that, it may uh, have a tendency to get sluggish in the action. So it's not a bad idea uh, to get out and try shooting and try guns in different varieties of clothing. And speaking of clothing, we had a uh, local artist, a uh, gentleman named John Danforth, is a, he, he's a, an airbrush artist. And he did this uh, uh, old jacket of mine. And let me show it to you. You can see where it says 460 rolling real guns for real Americans here. And he did a bang up job. And if some of you, oh, we're gonna have this, he can do it in, uh, in our 1911 gun. In fact, he did it from this gun right here or did it from a picture actually of this gun or certainly we want to offer it for our Dan Wesson and the other guns we have but if you would like to have our friend John Danforth and he's pretty quick and he's very reasonably priced uh, if you'd like to have him do some artwork some gun artwork like this call me here at the program 318-377-5189 and uh, I'll tell you what you need to send he works best on uh, not on a slick jacket or polyester something like that he works best on cotton type fabrics or denim, something like that, and sweatshirts, things like that. Uh, the man's just incredible. I think he's just incredible how he can do it. So if you'd like to have one of our uh, uh, pieces of gun art on a piece of your clothing, call me and I'll give you the details on it. Friends, we have so much to talk about. We're going to try and, and go to uh, the subgun shoot out at the Front Sight Institute there. Uh, about 40 miles or so from Las Vegas, Nevada. We have some great tape footage. They are a terrific outfit. I think you're gonna be impressed. But first of all, let me show you a couple of things. I got some things in from uh, JPFO. Now that's Jews for the Preservation of Firearms Ownership. And I'll tell you what, here's a poster. It's a, a man behind barbed wire and it has the smokestack over here in the back and it says, never give up your guns. My Jewish brothers would not listen to me, will you? And I tell you what, JPFO, they're a great outfit. Uh, they have information that, that unfortunately some of the other organizations, and also let me put in a plug for Gun Owners of America because they're the only outfit that's every day in Washington, D.C., every day on the Hill and monitoring the things that are going on. But another great publication from JPFO is Dial 911 and Die. So many people don't realize the police are, are under no obligation to protect you or I. They absolutely are not. The police get there after the crime has been committed. And they've got a book here that cites cases in all the states on when people have called 911 and they did no good or they they lost their lives or were horribly injured. Uh, the shocking truth about the police protection myth. People, we can't give up our firearms. We cannot. You know why this program, most of you do who watch us every week, but for new viewers, you know why this program is so important? Because you won't get this information anywhere else on television. If one of the larger networks that airs uh, programs that have some shooting on there, let me tell you what, they start talking about what the police will not do, start talking about, they show you this picture uh, of the gun in front of the United Nations, this big sculpture of a, of a Colt Python with a barrel tied in a knot.
they show you something like that, they're off the air instantly. I mean, they'll never be on again on that network. That's why it is so important, please, to help support our program and to help support our sponsors because our sponsors are making it possible for us to be here along with your viewer support. And friends, it, it is not being done anywhere else on television. Another poster of, I think, extreme importance. Let me show you this. We're, we're so short on time, bear with me here. A picture of a gentleman who is a hero to the Clintonians, who is a hero to those folks who went in and burned the Branch Davidians. All in favor of gun control, raise your right hand. And we have Adolf Hitler here giving his Nazi salute. Now, friends, this is what it's about. This is what it's about. Will you help us stay on the air? Will you please help us stay on the air? We need your support because we have got to reach more people. If we don't reach more people and get them motivated and activated into helping us retain our constitutional rights, we're going to lose it all. We're not going to have guns. And, you know, if someone says, well, in fact, let me show you a couple of things here that JPFO is doing. JPFO has these terrific little comic books. Unfortunately, the message is not funny, but it's the Grandpa Jack series. And they have them, for example, can you get a fair trial in America? How about gun control kills kids? How about it's common sense to use your Bill of Rights, use our Bill of Rights? Gun control is racist, which is true. How about the United Nations is killing your freedoms? And they have a coloring book. And friends, this is great. How about it's the Brasco coloring book, making firearms safety fun and it is educational this will teach children about how to properly handle guns uh, simple things about the alphabet which designates different ideas great stuff friends from JPFO I know it's a little breezy out here but friends this is too good we got we got to look at this this is the part about gun control kills kids and some of the information in this uh, our teachers say that guns are bad. Really, what do they say about guns? Well, over a thousand kids a year die in, die in gun accidents. Isn't that awful? And Grandpa Jack says it would be if it were true. The actual number is 40, not a thousand, but 40 under age five and 180 under age 15. In fact, more children die from bicycle accidents, drowning in swimming pools. Over 3,000 kids die a year in automobile accidents. And then it goes on to refute the arguments. It is just terrific information. Simply put, but this, friends, I tell you what, these little booklets are worth their weight in gold to our cause as gun owners. If you would like more information, I just jotted this down. I was talking to Aaron earlier. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, talk about your quick commercial, but uh, this is for real. This is no charge to JPFO because they're doing such a good job. You can call them 1-800-869-1884. Again, 1-800-869-1884. Jews for the preservation of firearms ownership. And friends, honestly, I felt like that was so important, and I really believe it. These folks can get you information. Many times we don't know the statistics to really stand up and argue when we get some of the anti-gun people really in our face. Well, let me tell you what, JPFO has those statistics, so I invite you to call them and get some of this great information they have. Well, let's start another shooting show. I tell you what, we had uh, so much interest in last week's, uh, last week's program on the HK gun we converted to our 460 Roland, but let's have some fun here. Let's start off with the jungle gun. Stay tuned for more of the shooting show after these important messages. The shooting show will be right back after this break for your local cable company or TV station.
Now, friends, here's one of the most important publications you can get. This is the great Georgia Arms catalog. And please write their phone number down, 1-800-624-6861. This is a tremendous catalog with the best ammunition prices available in the United States. Okay, well, here's a mention of the shooting show. Hey, that, that's reason enough to support them right there. But you get superior ammunition at superior prices. Let's look over here. Here we, whoops, let's see. What do we see? 460 rolling. Yes, indeed. But we also see a tremendous number of other things. 45 ACPs, 44 Magnums, 41 Magnums, certainly. Our uh, defense load there, defense special 41 Magnum load available, but all kinds of others. 9 millimeters, 357 SIGs, 44 specials. 30 out sixes, seven mags, all kinds of neat stuff. Plus, they have components. If you want to load your own, they'll sell you lead bullets. They'll sell you nostril bullets, all kinds of great features. Yes, in fact, they'll even sell you a 460 rolling kit for uh, the great 1911 guns, cleaning accessories. Uh, here's gunpowder for sale, uh, loading equipment for sale. Friends, give them a call today. These are some of the finest people, period, that I've ever had a chance to meet. Curtis Shipley and our good friend Larry Haney from, from Georgia Arms, and they're helping to support the shooting show. Give them a call today. Get a free catalog, 1-800-624-6861. And please don't forget to tell them you saw it here on our show. And friends, you know, a couple of weeks ago we were out in Las Vegas at the SHOT Show, and on Friday after the SHOT Show we went out to the Front Sight Institute, which is located now uh, outside Las Vegas in Nevada. Uh, I think you're really going to appreciate some of their techniques. We're going to show you a little bit of footage that we shot out at the submachine gun course that I took that day. So let's see about that. Their 800 number is 1-800-987-7719, because I know you're going to want to give them a call. Some of you are going to be interested in their training courses. In a one-day format, we don't have enough time to get into the real detailed tactical application of this particular weapon. For example, malfunctions, reloads, uh, vehicular defense, home defense, tactical movement, that sort of thing. We cover all of those subjects and significantly more in our two-day and four-day courses. But in a one-day format, all we can really hit are the basics the fundamentals. And that's the good news because all the fundamentals that you will learn today certainly transition well into those courses down the road. Okay? So to have a good time, we obviously need to do so safely. So let's talk about the four universal firearm <coughs> safety rules. Your weapon, keep the muzzle pointed down range, trigger finger straight. Let me guide you through the clearance okay, procedure like one time just so you make sure it's perfect. There you go. All right. Good job. Tuck that stock up underneath your firing side arm, against your body. And with your support hand, Get a hold of the bolt knob, run it to the rear all the way, and let it go. Ready. Brad did an excellent job explaining the three secrets, side alignment, side picture, and trigger control. Now we're going to do a quick demonstration on that press release of the trigger to deliver two to three rounds to the thoracic cavity. Okay, there's a press release for a single round. We hold the trigger down a little longer, you're going to get two rounds. Hold a little longer, three rounds. Four. Five. Okay. Now you'll notice you can keep all the rounds in a pretty good group. You notice though the fourth and fifth, the group tends to open up a little bit, doesn't it? All right, folks, what uh, Brad failed to tell you is the instructors that are shooting have to get all 25 shots in the center of the thoracic cavity. If they fail to do so, they buy all the other instructors dinner. <laughs> if they get them in there, we buy them dinner. Ooh. <laughs> From the ready. Set. Ready. Fire. Whoa. Oh, nice job. I got one on the line. Nice job. <laughs> We'd like to thank the Marathon Long Distance Company and also the staff and management of the Front Sight Training Institute. We had a great time out shooting machine guns. If you would like to know more about their professional firearms training courses, give them a call, 1-800-987-7719.
Stay tuned for more of The Shooting Show after these important messages. Friends, many of you know that Dennis Crocker is making these great Kramer holsters available for our full-size 460 1911s, but he also has holsters for guns like this 3-inch model 625 in 45 caliber. He also has holsters for many other types of handguns, such as this Kimber Compact in 460 made of shark skin. And of course, he also offers magazine carriers. If you want the best holster money can buy, certainly from Kramer, give Dennis Crocker a call at area 864-587-8722. Again, area 864-587-8722 for these great Kramer holsters for whatever gun you may have. My friends, on last week's program, we briefly showed the HK USP converted to our 460, and uh, this gun <laughs> caused quite a stir. Uh, because there are a lot of people out there that have these guns or have other types of guns than the great 1911. Now, no, we have not eclipsed the 1911 uh, style gun or the 1911 design from John Browning on semi-automatic pistols. But in truth, the HK and a number of others use the Browning principle of recoil, delayed recoil uh, 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 function there on how the gun operates. And again, uh, the USP has uh, won the military trial as the Special Operations or Special Forces pistol, and they're really good guns. And in our testing, it looks like they're going to, to really hold up well for our 460 rolling cartridge. Remember, you can still shoot the 45 ACP. I think we have several of them in there, 45s. Not much recoil at all. And then you can go with our, <laughs> our 460 Roland, which essentially makes the gun into a 44 Magnum power pistol. Just amazing power and function with this great HK pistol. My friends, see, we're using our standard compensator here, and we use a, uh, of course, installing another barrel on this gun because it is similar to the Commander Link pistol. We're not changing recoil springs. It's a little smaller, actually, than our full-size 1911, comparable to the uh, commander size guns. And remember how these guns operate. Of course, you have a decock here on the safety. You don't have to touch the trigger to decock it. This gun can be carried safety on, trigger forward, hammer down, or it can be carried with the hammer cocked, safety on, cocked and locked, uh, or it can be carried, decock it there, hammer down, safety off. And one of the things I like about this gun, this action is, you can put the safety in the on position, and then if you want to, you can cock it safely. So essentially, it's in cocked and locked. It doesn't lock the action there. These guns have proven to be very reliable. This one has night sights, which is a very desirable option for, for many of us. And let's see how it shoots. We've got a loaded magazine here. It has a 10-round magazine, loads like so. And let's get over here and get set. Got our target out here. Go ahead and load the gun. Now then, let's see how it looks through the sights. There's our target about right there. Very easy to shoot, not a lot of recoil. Let's come on up and get a little better look at what you should see in your sights. That front sight 
needs to be clear, the targets can be blurred, and actually our back sight here, let's see if we can get a little better grip on this, the front sight needs to be clear, the back can be blurred, and our target blurred, but let's watch it in action here, that steel disc out there. Absolutely. Very fine function with our 460 rolling kit on the HK USP. We did have a, a lot of phone calls about this gun from last week's program, and we anticipate the kits, and they should be ready uh, in the next week or so. The kits are going to be about the same price as our standard 1911 kits for our 460 guns. Stay tuned for more of the shooting show after these important messages. My friends, you're looking at some 230 grain full metal jacket 460 rolling ammo, and this is made by a custom manufacturer in Hollywood, Florida, American Custom Ammo, and they're going to offer the specialty loads that there may not be enough demand for to put in mass production, but uh, Georgia Arms has given them permission to make our 460 rolling ammo in custom loads. If you have a para ordnance which requires shorter overall length of shells or some of the other guns that require slightly different dimensions, Call American Custom Ammo in Hollywood, Florida, area 954-963-8750. Again, area 954-963-8750 for the custom loads for our 460 rolling ammo. You know, one of the nice things about going to trade shows such as the SHOT Show are the hospitality functions, and Smith & Wesson, Marlin, and Tasco invited the gun press out to American Shooter Supply there in Las Vegas for a shoot and dining event. They even hired a band to come down to the Shooter Supply there. We had a great time. We'll show you some highlights of that. I'd like to welcome you all out here, all the Shoot and Show audience. Thanks very much for being with us and attending our show today. The music you're listening to is John Insidio, that's me, and the Full House Band. Now we'll be driving all night, we'll be there at the break of dawn. I paint my piece, I'll be up in the slack. You don't look back as I'm gone. Coffee and gold and hanging, you don't look back as I'm gone. Coffee and gold and hanging, you don't look back as I'm gone. Some of the new product, um, the Optima scope. In fact, let's take a look. This is a, a disabled MP5 I'm holding here, but let's look at the Optima scope. See the little red dot? See, and when you're looking at it, there's nothing to it, hardly. But watch. See the little red dot? That's where you adjust it, so that's where your bullet goes. Very fast, very simple. What are, you, what are you holding there, Phil? A brand new Smith & Wesson Titanium 44 Special. Three-inch kind of, barrel. You said you didn't like that front sight, though. Is that right? I love that front sight. <laughs> For an old man like me, man, that's a front sight I can see. Yeah, it really is. I suppose you call that luminous. It's very light. Show us how the barrel right. That's a titanium cylinder. It's a titanium cylinder, stainless steel barrel liner in an aluminum crowd, and the receiver, of course, is aluminum. You know, Phil, the only the only way I can see really improving that gun is having our 460 caliber, and I know you agree with me, and I appreciate that. <laughs> I don't want to argue with the producer. 
<laughs> but that's a honey. We're glad to see things like this from Smith and Wesson. You bet. And I, I've been called a big bore for a long time, but this is one I can Listen. I can live with. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ken Sedlecki with Smith and Wesson. And Ken, what wait? What's on the front of this? What, what is uh, we're it? coming hey. out with the Schofield. Surely which was not. Introduced in 1871. It'll be in a 45 S and W caliber. Good for you. And we'll have it uh, the first 125 in production on, uh, in May. We'll be shipping it. Well, sir, that is great for the company who, who brought it out to bring it out again. That is terrific. We well, thank you, Johnny. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here at the 2000 Shot Show. This is Irv Stone, the third, actually. And Irv, you folks, what is your business about, sir? Um, our business is pretty much about barrels. We manufacture pistol barrels. Um, all replacement pistol barrels, match grade and semi drop in. Uh, we obviously have a whole different array. Uh, we do H and K's, Smiths, Berettas, Locks, and all the Colt pattern pistols. Uh, Browning high powers. Uh, we just do all caliber conversions. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking with Ed Brown. Ed Brown products, and we have a, a rack of rifles. Now, normally we think of Ed in the handgun accessory business, but Ed, you're holding a rifle action, sir. What What is this? This is our new Model 702 uh, receiver. Uh, it's the heart of our new custom rifle. Available in a lot of configurations. This particular one is a steel trigger guard and four plate repeater version. Mm -hmm. We make our actions out of preheat treated stainless steel. Let's go to our support group, friends, but let me remind you, a broadcast copy of our shooting shows are archived at Jim's House of Videos. You can call them at area 318-869-0439, or you can find them on the Internet at www.jimshouseofvideos.com. We want to recognize custom leatherwork and saddlery in Denham Springs, Louisiana, all kinds of leatherwork. Their number is area 225-667-9225. If you're in the Albuquerque, New Mexico area and you need communication help, Call Brooks Communication at area 505-888-2929. If you need your gun stock painted, call Camouflage Technologies at area 909-674-6488. We have Cotra Refrigeration, Heating, and Cooling in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, for doing all kinds of refrigeration and cooling and heating work. Call Wade at area 256-381-1887. And if you need heavy equipment in Southern California, give Gearlings Equipment Rental a call at area 909 909- three five four six four seven six friends we've run out of time on today's program we want to thank you so much for being with us we we'll look forward to seeing you on the next show and friends our gospel show is coming up next please stay with us it's a show you don't want to miss You know, friends, we're still down here on the range, and I want to make a point. We're down here. This is the gospel show, and certainly I'm Johnny Rowland, your host. We have, we're down here where I work a lot, down here on our range with our guns and, and certainly with our test gear, the things that we use. And you know what? I'm Christian down here on the range, regardless if I'm holding a, a shotgun or a handgun or a Bible. I'm Christian first, and everything else is second. And there's nothing discordant about having a, somebody said bullets and Bibles, there's nothing wrong with that. Because it's the Bible that gives us the gift of personal liberty, of personal freedom. It's the Bible that gave us the Constitution to the United States of America. And there is nothing discordant about having these guns, even these black guns, how about that? And the Bible. Because one, there's no <clears throat> there's no evil in a black gun. It's it's less expensive to make. It's durable materials. There's no evil here. These are just machines. But you know what? 